Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are cleaning up some new Care Bears. We got some great vintage Care Bears here. Some of them need a really, really big deep clean and then others just need a simple wipe down. So that's what we're doing today. So in here we have a variety of different Care Bears, mostly that are vintage along with some pretenders if anybody remembers these from the 1980s we have a couple of these that we're going to clean as well a couple as my colleague said <laughs> are pretty rough we do have ones like this though however she looks pretty great so does our panda for ones like these we may actually skip washing since they're not spotted at all we might just spray them with lysol He looks beautiful. It just smells kind of funky. Probably was in somebody's storage space. And then we allow it to air dry. We are going to start with Treat Heart Pig. He's little, but he's pretty dirty. He's from early 2000s. Bought him off of Marketplace. You can see he's got some pretty nasty spots on him. Water that we have prepared is hot water with laundry detergent. And we actually used baby laundry detergent because other than this, all we had was pods, which if you had pods, you could cut it open and use that. I find that laundry detergent works better than, say, dish soap, because dish soap is designed more to cut grease, like for your dishes, whereas laundry detergent is designed to get the, the dirt and grime out of your clothes, which is more what you're going to find in stuffed animals. So first step, we're going to submerge him into the water. After letting him soak in the water for a few minutes... Just dip a brush of some sort. You can use a sponge. You can see some of the stains have already faded that were on him. It's looking better already and he's been in the water less than five minutes. If you have really bad stuffed animals, Care Bears is mainly what we do, you can place them in the washer machine inside of a pillowcase. And I do that quite often but I would say I do that more so with the 2003 to 2010 bears. The ones that are a little bit older than that, I typically hand wash because they're a little bit harder to come by and chances are you paid a little bit more for them. So what we're gonna do next then is we're just gonna rinse him off. We can rinse him with cool or hot water. That really doesn't matter. If you do wash them in the washer, I do not recommend placing them in the dryer because their hair will melt. Love it. Just want to kind of get some of the excess water out of them. You just kind of want to squeeze them. You want to try to avoid twisting them because weirdly enough it will affect how they dry and may even leave marks on their body. I'm just going to squish this little bellion. And you're going to find a nice surface to leave them dry. I usually just let them air dry on a table or counter that's not being used. We will work on his hair once he's dry. Okay, next we have, this is a vintage True Heart Care Bear. She's from the 1980s. She is pretty dingy, so we're gonna let her soak for a little bit and see if we can help her. You can see her eyes are pretty nasty looking too. Uh, she still, you can still read the Care Bears on her tag, but her other tag is pretty, pretty gone. is definitely, definitely dirty. One of the dirtier ones I think I've had in a long time. But if we can get her looking good, she'll be an excellent addition to our collection. And, I mean, most of these that sell on eBay, they can go anywhere from 60 to a couple hundred dollars, depending on the condition of them. So I didn't pay as much for her because she looked pretty rough. We all seen her. important to try to get as much of the soap out of these as you can as well. If you do leave soap in these, their texture will end up a little on the crunchier side. We didn't have much luck with her eyes, as you can see. Uh, we did a little scrubbing, and I tried a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser for a minute, but Mr. Clean Magic Eraser usually will work for some of them, but if it don't, 
we just let it go because we don't want to cause damage to it. She's looking good, and I think she looks 100% better if I do say so myself. So we're going to move her to the table to dry. I'm drying them all like this for now, and then we're going to keep rotating them as they sit and dry out. Looks so much better already. We're going to do Sea Friend Bear. He came from the same home, so he's a little grubby, but not as bad. First thing, though, I'm going to change the water, so we'll be right back. Doing our water, we just have hot water, and as I said, the liquid laundry detergent, I'm using about a half cup. Okay. And since this is like the baby detergent, there's no harsh chemicals or anything in it. So if you're going to buy detergent specifically for this, this is a great detergent to use. And that's Walmart brand, so it's a little cheaper. Water now. Seafront is going in there. We're going to get him cleaned up. Good luck, pal. He's got a couple spots, as you can see, on his back and... The friend bear was a UK exclusive, uh, early 1980s. Some of these, it's hard to find the exact year in which they were actually made. And his tag is a little, a little tattered. He still has the Care Bear one, but because he wasn't made in the US, his tag's a little different, but at this point, definitely unreadable. I can make out the word collection, but that's about it. Okay, now we're going to do our vintage daydream bear. He's not, she, he's not in really bad shape. She does got some dark spots on her belly, uh, a little darkening on her face, her tail. You can kind of see in the lighting, there's some dark spots in here, her head. She just looks like she maybe sat on a shelf for, I don't know how many years and just had a lot of dust on her. Maybe she just wasn't really cared for, so... We're going to get her into the water and see what happens. Her eyes look pretty great, though. They do. They do. What about the Care Bear heart on the butt? Her heart eh, is there, but not exactly readable. A little. And although she has her original tag, it's so faded you can't make out anything in it. Daydream Bear was originally released as a UK exclusive in the early 1980s. She has since been redone. As you can see, this was her original symbol which I personally kind of like better, although I would say Daydream Bear is one of my favorites. This, to me, kind of has more of a Share Bear vibe, maybe just because there's two. So I guess I kind of like the fact that they changed it up. I kind of do like the peach color, I guess, better. I, I Either color's fine with me, but I do like the new design. Um, when I think of Care Bears, I really like the early 2000 Care Bears. It was like 2003 to 2007. I really like those ones. But I like the new ones, too, and I collect all of them because they're Care Bears. This is what we look like. They're very heavy, and these are going to take multiple days to dry. So pretty much you just leave them out to dry for days, and as they dry, you turn them over, and you change the towel underneath them. On to our last Care Bear. So this is Mr. Playful Heart Monkey. He's actually not that bad. He's got a couple dark spots. Up here, I think he just sat on a shelf. It was just a little dusty. His belly, belly badge is a little, a little dirty. His feet a little dirty. And he actually, we got quite a good deal on him. These can typically sell on eBay. I think the cheapest one I've seen in a recent year or two have been probably between three and four hundred, and we paid under a hundred dollars for him. So, pretty good deal. His tag is. Very nice. And this, although obviously faded, you can still read it. Give him a nice scrub. So this, as we said, is one of the original Care Bear Cousins. He was released in 1985. Uh, some of the Care Bear Cousins you can find pretty easy on eBay. You're going to be able to find, um, without going into their specific names, you'll find the lamb, the raccoon, um, the elephant, pretty simply. Um, when it comes to the harder to find ones, you're going to have our guy here. Um, also, the cat, the dog, and then of course the horse and the pig. Some people say the horse is the rarest to find. Um, 
others say the pig. I personally, I think it's the pig because I've never actually seen um, one of the pigs in real life, like for sale ever. You can see a horse once in a blue moon on eBay for sale for a couple thousand dollars, um, but I've never seen a real vintage Care Bear Pig treat heart from the 1980s. Uh, the little pig that we have that we just cleaned, he's actually in like the early 2000s. Um, but those particular beanies, the little treat heart pig that we cleaned a while back, those are actually kind of hard to find at this point too and can actually sell for a couple hundred dollars. Even though they are just eight inch beanies that probably sold at the store for less than 10 bucks. All right, so these aren't Care Bears. These are Pretenders. So these cats are called Pretenders, and they were released in 1987. I personally owned this one right here. I still own him. He's actually in a tote in my storage unit. But I have a baby who loves her cat, so I thought I would get her some cats to play with. So if you have one of these, or you purchased one, and you go to clean it, first thing you're going to want to do is open up the back. There is a pouch back here. There's a an electric box that goes in here. It's called their purr box. Um, these two, I've already removed them. They didn't work. I purchased them off of eBay. So because it's going to a baby, I just discarded them. Um, but you'll want to remove that, especially if it works, before you place it in water. So with that in mind, here we go. So they weren't from like a show or anything? They were just uh, like You that. know, I, I honestly don't think there was a cartoon form. I know I had a couple books that they were featured in. Um, there's a white one. There is a purple one, a pink one, and a yellow one. And I know that there were little ones released later and there was a black one of the little one, but I, I'm not sure if there was a big black one or not. I would actually have to have to check and see. These, what they are is, they were actually kind of funny. They were supposed to be cats that were pretending that they were something else. So um, this guy, for example, the little white one, he was pretending to be a mouse. So he had a uh, mouse ears and a mouse head piece that went over him that you could remove, your child could remove to play with, but it was supposed to be, they were they were pretending to be something other than a cat. So I don't know, they could sneak up on the mice a little easier because he was a mouse. Um, and the little guy behind me, the purple one, he was a rabbit. So they were kind of funny. Guys, this is the other per tender. Um, this one I think is in better shape than the other one. There's I love not the much color dirt. Too. Alrighty, guys, so here are our new bears and pretenders. We're gonna let them dry for multiple days. I will update you guys when they're done. We're gonna brush them out, we're gonna make them look super nice, fix their hair. So these are the finished bears. They're looking so great. Right now I'm gonna try and fix their hair up. Originally their hair was curly, so I'm going to be getting some water and a pencil to try and like curl it again. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I'm just gonna hold it here for a few minutes and hope for the best. So in the long run, it didn't really work that well. Their hair is a little bit curly, but not bad. Here are the finished bears. They're looking so great and so much cleaner. Um, a new video is going to be coming soon, very, very soon, of the whole Care Bear collection. So make sure you subscribe, you know, so you don't miss out. I have some other Care Bear videos coming soon. So subscribe, hit the bell, like this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.